Hey guys, it's me Drew, and as you see from the title above, we are here to talk about a brand new to me vendor, The Pharmacist's Daughter. Now, The Pharmacist's Daughter is a really, really cool vendor created by Ansley and Kim, who are obviously the mother and the daughter. The Pharmacist, I believe, is her husband, and Essentially what she does is they create independent bath and body products and also to me I describe them as artisanal wax and the reason why I say that is because her wax is Beautiful. I was so impressed after seeing her products from Danny from Danny loves wax on Instagram Danny lives life here on YouTube she talks about um, the pharmacist daughter all the time and they send her a few goodies before the restock so she can talk to them that stupid motorcycles back again talk to you guys about the restocks and super cool but I was so excited when they announced they have a restock and I wanted to get this video up because they also have a pre-order starting tomorrow July 22nd through the weekend July 24th and you can order all these different scents that they have as options in her loaves or in souffles. Now a pre-order means there is going to be a turnaround time. I'm not 100% on the turnaround time. I didn't take a look at that before the video. but. All I know is I have six loaves. I'm trying to place smaller orders with vendors because I have so much wax right now and I really need to find a great organization for them. But this has been sitting here for a couple weeks now, maybe two weeks, and I really wanted to share them with you guys. Obviously, because I am already planning on ordering some loaves tomorrow, I am more than impressed. So without further ado, let's get into it. Typically, I like to start with samples, but they are buried in the bottom of this box, so we're just going to jump right into the wax. Now, the first one, which I was most excited about in this order, turned out to be my favorite. Well, I have two standout favorites in this order, and this is called Hole in One. Now, one thing I notice about her labels, they have that, like, craft paper look to them, but they are shiny, which I love. I wasn't expecting that. The quality of the bags and the labels are really impressive. Now, they have scent notes and the pour date on the labels, which I love. And this says, zucchini bread, blackberry jam, jelly donut. Now take a look at this piece of wax. It's two gigantic donuts and then filled with this white cream, a little drizzle and some purple sparkle and this smells so good you guys i don't even know <clears throat> honestly how many melts i'm gonna get out of this probably at least six or seven melts maybe even more than that i'm not sure i haven't melted any of her wax yet to know how much to put in the warmers but oh this smells good it has that to me any zucchini bread jam scents have this sweet yet salty, almost addictive, like you want to lick the air scent to them. I melted a piece of wax the other night before bed in my warmer, and it was zucchini bread and strawberry jam. I wanted to lick the air. It smells so good. And this has that same quality, that, that real jammy scent mixed with that zucchini bread. I never thought it would be a zucchini bread fan, but mixed with things, this is heaven. And this piece of wax is huge. Now, a lot of these items, not all of them, were poured on June 30th. So about, I want to give everything about a month of cure time, so July 30th. Next, we have Royal Wedding, and this was a little bunt cake. And this says butter mints, vanilla B Noel, and cup of cakes. And also, all of this together was around $60 after tax, or after shipping. And look at this. This is a really cute, like, teal bunt cake, again with that drizzle. And to me, this smells just like a really minty vanilla. I don't get much cake from it, though, but I definitely get, like, a minty vanilla. It's nice. I can't wait to melt it to see if it's going to be even better but oh this one doesn't have a poor date on it everything that i have has a poor date except this one i'm not sure when this was poured i assume on the 30th like a lot of these things but i'm not sure that's weird next 
is I have two of this and I mainly ordered this because of Danny and this is Rain Man. So I do have two of, I believe they're called her Wave Bars and this is in Patchouli Rain and Shave in a Haircut. Now, <clears throat> I'm not the biggest fan of patchouli but mixed with things, I knew I had to try it. Look how beautiful this Wave Bar is. Ah. Okay, so to me, this smells like really, really clean water. Like, you know whenever you <clears throat> put your water in your filter, put it in the fridge, let it sit for a really long time, say you go on vacation, you come back and you pour your glass of water after a week, it's super cold, cool, clean water. That's kind of what I get from this, like a really clean water scent. And then as far as like the shave and a haircut, to me, this almost smells like what the bathroom smells like after someone's been in there shaving their face. It's like the remnants of the shaving. Oh, that smells good. This, I can definitely see being like an evening time melt or even like a bathroom melt. I'm always looking for really good scents for the bathroom and I can definitely tell this is gonna be one of them. So I have two so I can experiment where I wanna melt them. Next, we have some little hearts, and this one is in Not Just a Headache, and this is Lavender Peppermint, also poured on June 30th. I was so excited for this one. I'm not going to pull out the hearts. I'm just going to, they're just little hearts. But I was excited for this because it's so, super simple, but I do get headaches a lot, and I always want to find the perfect melt to melt in my house when I do have headaches. And this is nice. To me, the lavender's more herbal lavender, but it's not overpowering. It kind of smells, to be honest, like the lavender in like Sleepy or Twilight from Lush mixed with that sweet, sweet peppermint. Oh, I can definitely feel how this is going to be really relaxing and really calming when you have a headache. Then I got her Charity Melts. Now, I, I don't exactly remember the charity from this one. I know it has something to do with backpacks for kids. $250, something like that. I believe it's like $250 to support a backpack full of, is it school supplies or something for kids? And every one of these orders, um, it all went towards that foundation, Backpack Buddy. And this is Mac Apple Sugar Cookie Royale and Vanilla Butter Fudge, which just sounds delicious. I love Mac Apple Bakery scents. And I love this. Now this is interesting because <clears throat> it doesn't smell like, a, like an apple cookie or an apple pie. There's no cinnamon or sugar or anything like that that's typically mixed with apple scents. It is like a, a buttery vanilla mixed with apple, which is really unique. I haven't really smelled many things like that. The closest like baked good I would say it smells like is maybe like like a a cookie or a, a cake I mean or a cupcake like a cupcake with no cinnamon no sugar just like a really rich apple flavored cupcake it smells really really good I really really like that one then we have her really cute snap bars so you get three snap bars with every or, or with every um every order one and there's four little cubes, so I predict I'm going to cut each one in half, so use two cubes in every warmer. And this is in Mandarin Lime Basil, which I believe is a dupe for Joe Malone. I mean, I know that is the Lime Basil Mandarin is Joe Malone's dupe. So this, it doesn't smell exactly like it to me. That's why I was asking. It's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. But to me... It almost, it doesn't have that, like, signature Joe Malone smell that all the Joe Malone fragrances have. And it doesn't say type on here, so maybe it's not. But Lime Basil Mandarin is, like, it's very basil heavy. You definitely get more herbal. And this, I feel like you get the lime and the mandarin more. It's definitely juicy citrus. And the basil kind of is in the background to almost tone down the tartness, but you don't get overly herbal. It's almost like a blender fragrance. 
It's really good though. I think this would be a good kitchen scent to like clear the air after you cook, you're cooking or you have company coming over and say you're making a meal or something and you know they're all gonna be congregating in the kitchen. That might be a nice scent because it's super bright and fresh and I don't think it's offensive to anybody. Next, we are going to talk about cartoons. Cartoons says Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops, Cotton Candy, and Twisted Unicorn. I have no idea what Twisted Unicorn is, but, and we have white, pink, and blue. So Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops, Cotton Candy, Twisted Unicorn. You definitely pick up on Fruity Pebbles and Fruit Loops. It's not... You know how sometimes you smell like a fruity cereal scent and it smells exactly like the powder at the bottom of the bag? This doesn't smell like that. However, it does smell like, like if you closed your eyes and smelled it, you could tell it was a cereal scent. But I would not say it smells like that like powdery scent at the bottom of the bag, which like I said, most vendors like fruity cereal scents do smell like that. So I appreciate that. I like that it's not that super cartoon cartoon it's not that like overpowering like powdery scent it's a more creamy um cereal scent and i really like that this is again another one of those what i would melt on a sunday when i'm off from work which i was off for work last sunday i'm off for work this sunday super excited and i love melting those really just fun sense that I can just enjoy the entire time that I'm home, knowing I don't have to go anywhere. The last snap bars I got were in Thunderstorm, and this one is Crisp Air, Amber, Sage, Bergamot, and Leather. I really love leather scents, so I know I go from love bakery to love leather, and everything in between. Now, when I think of a thunderstorm scent, I think really watery, and I, for lack of a better phrase, I think of Stormwatch from Yankee Candle, that, like, really, really watery men's cologne type scent. Lavender? No, there's no lavender. Hmm. I'm picking up lavender. But maybe that's, like, the sage and the crisp air mixed together. Bergamot, you can definitely smell bergamot, but it's not that, like, super bitey bergamot, like sometimes it is. And I'm not detecting any leather. This one might need more time to cure, but the if there is leather in it, it's very new leather. It doesn't smell aged. It's very, like, fresh and clean. And that's maybe why I can't necessarily smell the actual like super aged leather it's very nice again i like melting those type of scents during rainstorms or thunderstorms and those type of things so i'm really excited to melt that it's another good bathroom scent now these are what really really got me i just have to take this out of the bag are these little guys so these are her little cocktail type of scents and they are these little wax cups and they have a little bit of filling in them and then a little decorative embed on top. Now, I believe I'm probably going to cut this like on its side in slices. I'm not really sure. If you have melted these, what is the best way to cut them? But I ordered two on their own and then I ordered a pack. So this one is Grapefruit Rosemary Mocktail. Grapefruit, pink sugar, and rosemary mint. And this is amazing. You're immediately, immediately hit with the lemon rosemary or the the lemon rosemary the grapefruit and it smells just like a grapefruit white claw which i'll get to because that's the sampler um just like a grapefruit white claw like super authentic grapefruit like you just squeezed a grapefruit into bubbly seltzer rosemary mint really fresh and really clean Pink sugar. I, I get no pink sugar. I'm like rubbing the wax to see if it comes out a little more. And these were poured 6-1, so they are ready to go. Oh, it's really, really nice though. I really, really like it. Like I said, it's like a really fresh, zesty grapefruit with a really spa, clean note of that rosemary mint. I really, really think that'll be a good one for those days where it's just unbearably hot 
And no matter how much I want to melt fall right now, I am going to hold off and not. The next one is, I just dropped the bag, but this is lavender lemonade. And this is one I'm also ordering in a loaf tomorrow. This smells amazing. It says pink lemonade and lavender. And look at this guy. So we have a little purple cup with a little sprig of lemon with some little foam. Oh, does this smell amazing? This is really creamy lemonade. So when I say creamy lemonade, it's almost like a blended, like a frozen lemonade, which who doesn't love a frozen lemonade? That's what this smells like, like a frozen lemonade with a sprig of lavender in it. So it's not herbal, it's very, very sweet. So if you like lavender scents, still try this. If you don't like lavender scents, still try this. This is a good cleaning day scent because it's not that cleaner lemon like Pledge, which I don't care for. I like fresh and clean, a little bit fizzy, effervescent, so I cannot wait to pop this in my warmers. I might even pop this in my warmers tomorrow while I'm doing the restock, which I'm, or the, the pre-order, sorry, the pre-order, while I'm ordering from the pre-order. Who knows, I might pop that in and place an order. Now, I have in this adorable little box, the Four Claw Pack. So these are four fragrances inspired by White Claws. And the first one is Watermelon Claw. Now the only difference is the um, color of the cup. They all look the same. So I'm just gonna smell right here. And this is Watermelon Fizzy Pop. Now, I'll be 100% honest, this is not authentic watermelon. It's definitely candied watermelon. Like, a real Jolly Rancher watermelon. And I'm not getting much fizzy pop, honestly, on this one. It's definitely more like artificial watermelon candy, which I'm not complaining about. I like artificial watermelon. Um, I do prefer real watermelon scents, but they're hard to find, but it's fun. Then I have Tangerine Claw. So this is Tangerine and Fizzy Pop. And this is interesting. It's definitely citrusy. It kind of gives me Satsuma vibes. Like if this says Satsuma Fizzy Pop, I would immediately be like, yeah, it is. So it's really good though. It's really zesty and citrusy, and I do pick up more on the Fizzy Pop, which Fizzy Pop typically is a lemon-lime scent anyway, so it works really well with the Fizzy Pop. Then we have Lemon Claw, which is Lemon Fizzy Pop. Bright, zesty lemonade. Like, oh my god, like a lemonade seltzer, which who doesn't love lemonade seltzers? Basically, I'm saying everything I love in this video. It is, it's like really fresh lemon. Borderline cleaner, it's so fresh, but it's good. Now, the highlight of I think this whole order, besides hole in one, Mango Claw. You guys, you guys, and you guys. Mango fizzy pop. Now this is a perfect example. If you see, this little whipped popped right out of the cup. So this is just a hollow cup. So what I probably will do is cut this cup in like two or three and then pop this entire inside in one of my warmers. But <coughs> this is mango, fizzy, mango and fizzy pop. If this is her mango oil straight up, I need this in a loaf just like this, nothing else, mango. Oh, this is amazing. It is like slicing a fresh, real mango. Oh, it's so good. Like, I don't ever want to get rid of this. And I don't even want to melt it because I need bigger quantities. I will be so sad once I melt this and never have it again. That scent is out of this world. Oh my God, it smells so good. And then, 
something super random that I was super excited to order is one of her long-lasting body sprays. And Danny talked about this in her video, and this one is in Jade, which sounded the best to me for a body spray. For body sprays like this, I like keeping these in my bag, I like keeping these in my car, if I'm going from the gym and maybe want to stop and do an errand or anything and want to smell fresh and clean without putting on perfume, I always gravitate towards body sprays. And to order from an independent vendor, I love. And this is in Jade, which is lemon, grapefruit, jasmine, and vanilla. And I'm not a huge fan of jasmine in general, so I was really excited to try this and intrigued. You definitely smell the jasmine, but it's not like an old lady perfume jasmine. The lemon and the grapefruit definitely livens it up and makes it a little bit younger. And I don't really smell much vanilla, but I really like this. Now, as far as how long it lasts, I can't really say. I use these, like I said, as body sprays, just mist all over, head out for the day. But I'm really impressed. I like how zesty and fresh it is. It's not super oily. Like, it doesn't feel oily at all. It feels like a true perfume, which I have come to really appreciate with body sprays. And I like the size. Super easy, super fresh. And I hope... Um, Kim, I'm just putting this out there. Mango Claw Body Spray. Hole-in-One Donut Body Spray. Yes, I want to smell like a hole-in-one donut. I sure do. And then, as far as the samples go, I have four samples. The first one is in Mountain Air. Now, there's no descriptions on these. They're just little pieces of wax. And this is really, really outdoorsy and fresh. A little bit green, maybe it's my head playing tricks on me because I see a piece of green wax, but it's more like clean, crisp, and fresh outdoorsy, but I'm really, really liking them. And then we have Blue Man, which from what I remember, it's like blue sugar, I think. I'm not 100%. Yeah, it is. This is like the blue sugar perfume or cologne, which is like the pink sugar perfume. The blue sugar is cologne. It's really sweet cologne. Sweet candy cologne, which I like. Camping Trip, which I was expecting before I read the description, which I can't remember for the life of me. Honestly, the sample's so small, it's hard to tell. I, I like bigger pieces of wax, like the bag to smell, but is it marshmallow? I don't remember the description of my phones across the room. Yeah, I, I honestly, I can't remember what it's called. We have next bake shop, sugar bake shop. And sugared bake shop is everything you want in a bakery. Cinnamon sugar donuts, uh, Bavarian cream donuts, eclairs, oh my God, everything. Everything sweet, sugary, and bakery in a scent. This is going to be one of my nighttime melts. I love melting soothing bakery scents in the nighttime, which I know sounds crazy, but just helps me really relax and soothing before bed. And yeah, sometimes it does make me wake up in the middle of the night and want a piece of pie, but I don't have any pie here right now, so tough. And the last sample I have is Taste the Rainbow and another cute little heart. And this, it's like rainbow Skittles. Bright, a little bit citrusy. Kind of gives me that vibes of the Tangerine Claw Citrus, but it has more of a creaminess, like almost like a sherbet type of scent at the end. Oh, it's nice though. I love that she included five samples. I love this little box with a little raffia ribbon, and this is the mountain air sample I just stuck back in there. But I am super impressed with the pharmacist's daughter off the bat. Not only are the shapes beautiful, like you can have beautiful shapes, but if the wax smells like crap, nobody wants it. And from her small little group on Facebook, which I will link the put the link down below, there's only like 430 members right now, so it is still a small business, which I love and appreciate so much. Shout out to Kim and Ansley again. I'm so excited to place an order for the pre-order. Hole in One Donut is on my list. Definitely the Lavender Lemonade, 
beans and cream, which is like a coffee, creamy, coconut shortbread scent that everybody and their mother is talking about right now who's in the wax world and pharmacist daughter world. And I know that beans and cream and I love coffee scents. And to me, coffee, I drink coffee 365 days a year, so I can melt coffee 365 days a year. I have no problem ordering and melting coffee all the time and to have a huge stockpile of coffee scents because I love them. But definitely check out the Pharmacist Daughter. Again, I am super impressed by this company. Definitely adding it to a list of vendors that I really like. Again, um, Lasting Power, not sure yet. Throw, not, sh not sure yet, but from the reviews that I've seen, from Facebook groups, from YouTube, from just smelling them now, I am very impressed. Also, Val, if you're watching, I love and adore you. Thank you so much for always helping me through rough times. You're such a great person, Val, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!